Hello YouTube, Destination Lego here and welcome to this overview of the Lego Fire Brigade from the Modular series. So this is set 10197, like I said this is the Fire Brigade. Comes with a piece count of 2,231 with four minifigures. This set was released in 2009 and was discontinued at the end of 2013, so a very good run and for this particular modular set. Okay, so at the time this retailed in the UK for £99.99 pence, and in the United States for $149.99. Okay guys, like I said, this is going to be an overview, this is not going to be an in-depth review of the set. So there we can see the front of the set. Um, itself, just a few of the details. Obviously, here we have a tree. There's a lamppost here, comes with this dog um, figure. Um, so, we just put him here at the front. Um, you have this flag detail on the front, some good use of pieces here. We have this um, axe and hammer, and obviously the gold um, helmet there. If we can just zoom in a little bit, pick up some of that detail. We can see up there at the top. Um, obviously up the top here again it's good use of bricks from the 1932 um, at the very top we have the bow tower um, and over there towards the rear right um, there is a water tower so back to the front again uh, we have the red shutter here which does open up so if we just pull that up like so and now we can see inside the fire brigade and there is this vehicle that comes with the set just bring this out to the front, like so. And we will take a closer look at that in a second. So I'm just going to put that to one side. I just want to finish my overview of the actual building itself. Um, so again, this just simply closes shut, slides down like that. And if I go around to the side of the building, there you can see the actual width of the building, um, and down the bottom here there are some pins because being a modular this can attach to the other modular uh, buildings within the series um, look at the rear of the building again some good use of detailing um, here we have more doors towards the rear and again these do open like so so the fire truck could be driven in um, from the rear okay just carrying on round to that side and again down here we have some holes here for the Technic pins again for the modular buildings to be attached to. Okay guys so now a quick look at the truck, it is an old style um, fire truck that comes with this set. Again just spin that round so you can have a look at that, some good detailing on it. Round to that side. To the front shot, I'm just going to tilt this up. Show you there, kind of from that angle. Okay, guys, so that is our fire truck. Okay, guys, so one of the neat features with these modular sets is they um, they are layered. So I will demonstrate that now. So this top level just simply lifts off, like so. So if I put that down here to the front. And also this level here, again, just simply slots off, like so. So there we can see that this modular does actually come in three separate levels, which really allows you to get inside and obviously great playability and some great functions with these modular buildings. Okay guys, so I'm now just off the tripod so that I can show you inside each one of these levels. So this is obviously the ground level. Obviously there in the center between the yellow lines is where our fire truck goes. And we can see our stairway there leading up to the first floor. So you see the inside there of the building. Um, down there, if you could pick that up, but there are some um, tools in there. Apologies, that is not focusing now. Okay. We'll try and get there, there we go. So there are tools there and a crate there with some more tools in it. 
Over to this side we have the fireman's pole, obviously going down to the bottom. We go up and over. Again, there's some more um, pieces there, so let's just spin this around that way so we can get a better look at that. Um, obviously there, there are two fire extinguishers, three silver helmets, um, and there an oxygen tank um, down there in that little crate area there. Okay, so again, the door's there to the rear. From this angle, we can see they're open. And again, the door at the front opens up there. So now if we bring our truck around, in fact, I'll just put that door back down. You can see the way that just folds over the top there. If I just push that, that closed down. So there we can now see our truck coming in. And quite easily and neatly fits there into that ground floor level okay guys now with the first floor level back in place if we go over and into the top of this particular level we can see this is more the recreational area um, so there we can see well first of all the stairs going up to uh, what will be the roof of this building and in there, and it's a bit dark, but that's where the stairs come up from that ground level. If we look over here, um, there is a cabinet stroke um, display case there. Moving across, we have this table tennis table here. Again, some great use of pieces. I'm just going to spin this around so we can better look from that side because this is kind of the kitchen area now. So there we can see our refrigerator. Um, and this door does open, you have to bear with me because it's going to be a bit fiddly for me to get to. Okay, I'm going to open this and then come back. Okay, so we can see that fridge open now, I'm just actually going to lift it out. Okay, there we go, so there's that fridge. You can see down the bottom there's some sausages. And then probably what are some drinks cans or something up the top there. Um, and that could just simply slot back into position like so. Close the refrigerator door. Over here we have all our cooking area. So there's our stove over in the corner, the sink, and then obviously um, various cabinets. And obviously we can get a glimpse there of one of our minifigures, the chef. Again, these do open. And in there we can see there's a saucepan. Obviously we have some drawers down the bottom too. Again, which can be opened. If I just spin this around again, uh, we can see there there's our sofa area there, um, and then our obviously fireman's pole again there. So that is pretty much it for our first floor. Okay, guys, so now we can see with the top level now back on, which is pretty much the roof level. So again, there's that 1932 detailing. There we have the bow. I'm just going to spin the set around there so you can see that bow from the side view as well and then again from the rear okay so there we have our water tank pretty um, sort of an empty space up here so you could put mini figs up here I guess so those stairs that came up from that first floor level lead up to here some strange use of a door but Obviously we have a door there which does open up and there um, you can see those stairs obviously going down to that first floor level. Okay guys, finally just a quick look at our minifigures. So there we can see um, what I believe is our female firefighter. Move across there next to one of our male firefighters. And there's another man firefighter, obviously he is the chef of the day, with his chef's hat on. Um, then we have this female figure here. And finally, what I've already shown you, that dog. So let's take a look at the rear of these minifigures. Okay, so there's the rear shots, and as we can see there is no rear torso printing, or any rear printing at all. Um, with regards to these minifigures. See this female minifigure here does come with this satchel which you can see her there. Yeah. 
Okay guys, there we go. That's my overview of this set completed. Like I said, not a real in-depth review. Uh, I went into a fair bit of detail. Hopefully this will keep this video um, slightly shorter. Um, anyway guys, there we go. Like I said, that's it. That's my overview complete of this set from the Modular Series. So this is the Fire Brigade set 101. Nine, seven. Hopefully you did like this video guys, if you did please do go ahead and give it that thumbs up. Again, feedback, questions, comments, always welcome down in that comment section. And if you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers.